I thought that you're bullshitting me, but I was wrong. You're gonna have to instantly turn the volume down. Like a lot. We'll do 25 or 20, see how that is. Wow, that was still really loud. I have to turn it down more. I gaslit you into believing the truth. Oh god, that's so scuffed on stream. I'm gonna have to fix the display. Oof. Oof. Also, I forgot to change the stream game anyway, so let me do that real quick. Let me do that real quick, too. I don't normally switch games midstream, so... Yep, we're doing that. Is it on? I wonder if it's on the category already. It is. They already made it a category. That's sick. That's sick. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see. All right, got it. All right, let's see if it recognizes. I'm gonna have to lower that more. Fuck, that's loud, man. That is so loud. It's at 20. All right, it's not working with native controller support, so let's try a... Good old DS4 Windows. All reliable. Wait, why is it acting like I'm stirring it up the first time? What the heck? One sec, slight tit slight technical difficulties. Bear with me a second. Apparently something got messed up with the files. Just gotta reinstall the control driver real quick. Not sure why DS4 broke. It's really odd. Probably why it wasn't working. There we go. That's better. Tight. Very tight. Now I just need to fix the display on the stream. Not only comes with that preset. So we could go like full puppet games or whatever that 
indie studio that makes all the PSX horror games. We could leave the CRT filter on, or we could turn it off. What do you think? I know you can't see as well right now until I fix the display, but... I think it actually looks more clean without it. Because, you know, it's just... It's just a effect just to try and replicate playing on a really like old crappy TV. CRT on? Okay. FPS cap. We'll do on 20. We don't need more than that, probably. Arbitrary limiters. These are cool options, as expected. Also, fuck pop, puppet combo, the games are too loud. Yeah, they're pretty noisy. Have you played any? I haven't, I've just watched them, because I'm not like really big on horror games like that, so... No offense to them. All I know recently happened with them was, um... People got really triggered because they recently released support of the whatever the one game is with the bunny rabbit killer on the switch and they just made the game icon like you know the main icon on the switch dashboard for it uh just like a really creepy headshot of the art piece of the killer with no words no title no nothing just that and everyone got really upset by it for some reason <laughs> And they just took a Chad stance and they're like, so, and. <laughs> I played the no one and screamed, then only watch YouTube vids of the rest. Yeah, that's fair. No, they're, they're pretty, they set a good atmosphere. It's like, if I could describe it, it brings me back to when I played Resident Evil 1 as a kid. The in intentional PlayStation 1 effects just like this game does really I think at least for me personally amps up a nostalgic first time playing horror game feeling because Resident Evil 1 scared the shit out of me when I was a kid and I feel like it's a subconscious thing you know what I mean just going back to that low limiter no we don't have to do that what do you think arbitrary FPS drops to simulate PlayStation 1 or not I could live without it personally. I think that I could do CRT, but this seems a little bit too, a little bit too crusty. I think I'm gonna turn it off. We can have the full vibe without going that far. I think, personally. Oh, you can even customize the CRT settings. That's so cool. Yeah, don't want to touch that. I just want your experience to be stinky and yeah, shut up. Of course you do. I'll max the screen warp, I swear. Oh no. Oh no. Enlarge. You gotta get back to whatever it was, 51, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't wanna screw with this stuff. Don't wanna cause photo sensitivity issues with anyone. Oh, there's like different resolution versions too. This game's fucking sick. Now if I could just get it to fit the damn display properly. I'll try to do a game capture of it, see if that works. Because, um... Everyone else that streams here usually does a game capture, but for me it didn't work for a lot of the games I was playing at the time. 
So, I just kind of display capture instead, but I believe game capture is going to be the way to go here. That's cool. It's showing properly now, but it's not letting me, um, buy a rock shield game capture. Yeah, about no. I'm not that cultured. Or uncultured. Either or. Yeah, this just straight up died. Game capture is gonna be the way to go though. Alright. Let's try that again. Hopefully it saved the options. Hopefully it saved the volume too. <laughs> so cool, does it? That's easily probably one of the best parts about this already. That it just goes that far. Saved all that, right? It didn't. Damn it. We didn't change too much. We're just going to leave everything else as is. Now I'm full screen. The CRT lines are obnoxious. Oh, so you want them off now? They don't even bug me that much. And it's bigger. Probably bigger for me. You think it looks better like that? I'm kind of indifferent either way. I'm just turning the artificial limbers off because there's no way. The Twitch chat experience. Oh my god. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, here's the last option. Last option, I promise, then we're going to actually play. Should we keep the screen res at something more clean like this, or go for like emulating, you know, like PlayStation 1 crustiness? You see the pixelation difference there? What do you think? One or three? Clean or really crust? I can't make up my mind. I think they both look cool. And I love the options on this. As usual, indie devs coming in hard with ridiculously awesome game op options. Let's do crust and exchange. Alright, that sounds good to me. Is there an apply button here? Did these stay? Alright, cool, they stayed. Well, now it's too quiet. Garnum is the home of blood demonstration. You need only unravel the mystery. What the fuck? But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy with a bit of Garnum blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. This is ridiculous. Holy crap. Oh boy. No, we're not. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, I'll do that. <laughs> Is it randomized? Oh, we gotta do the Majima ponytail, even if it's clipping, which I think adds to it. That that's fine. <laughs> this is great. This doesn't matter. None of this matters. Oh god. I forget the classes in Bloodborne. <laughs> nice. Seems like a good one. This seems like a really solid one. I can't wait for the screaming to become obnoxious. Oh, it'll come. It is Bloodborne. This one's actually really good, too. Let's do that one, because I'm a scrub. Get more vitality. Good. All signed and sealed. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking scrimbler. I'm gonna have to turn the volume up again after this. Well, let's make sure we save first. Oh shit. My blood's pretty fire. Oh, that's worse. Could we go back to the demon dog? Can we please? You know, I think those look scarier in the D make than they do uh, in the original. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are good guys. That's right. They look really terrifying, but they're nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have dual shock. Cause it's a PlayStation God damn it. Surely there's dual shock support.
right? I love the inventory. You know I'm a big Tomb Raider fanboy. So the fact they styled it after that, that's so fucking sick. Oh my god. I love this already. Cheats? There's a passwords? Dude. There's a password cheat system. Oh my god. This is so cool. What the hell? Is it not a control? Oh, that's a bummer. No DualShock 4, I guess. Or no DualShock, I mean. Seek Pelbo to transcend the hunt. Okay, so that's what the item thing looks like. Oh, this is a very PlayStation 1 sound. You can't control your own camera either. Unless I'm missing something here. That's interesting. It's very confident in its camera, so let's see what happens. This is so sick. Do I have a weapon at all? I have to grab one. <laughs> I have none. <laughs> Interesting controls, too. Okay, so you can reset your camera with the lock on. That's good. This already controls a little bit different from Souls games normally. Oh, wow, this is so old school. So that's how you change the camera. This game's fucking sick. My god, man. Also, check out my soul count. For the backstab. You have a backstab? Yeah, cool. Nelly. Yeah, that was definitely the intent. That's what I kind of figured. And I forgot the first world fucking kicks your... Kicks your ass. I don't know if it's on purpose to get to the Hunter's Dream or not. It's been so long since I played the, the original. This is really well made. It accomplishes exactly what it sets out to do. Okay, so that's how I go back. We're not gonna do that yet. <laughs> Yeah, about that. Right, you could get HP back, so this game rewarded you for playing aggressively more. Treasure tax. Okay. Gives a little effect. Cool. Okay. 
<laughs> I think this is exactly how they taught you in the original version too. Hey, running feels better. Or not running, uh, jumping feels better because in most Souls games you have to fucking like tap the left stick in while you're running. At least you just have to double tap the run button, so... <laughs> Got that part better. Yeah, figured that out. I've right, been here already. That was like the tutorial labyrinth. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't exactly have money to do that. Blocked by unknown force. There you are. Oh wait, that's not a person. The messengers offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. Okay. Check my stats. There we go. Skill is basically dex, I think. In this game, if I remember right, I have more strength, so we're gonna go for strength scaling. We're go for raw damage. Alright. Offer you a firearm, choose one. Firearms are wielded with the left hand and employed in beast hunting. Ah, shit, I forget. What do you think, chat? I forget which does which. Oh, wait, hold on. There is like a scroll over here. It doesn't tell me much. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe one is better for parrying or something, because I know, like, the pistols basically act as a parry mechanism as well. I know barely anything about Bloodborne's pencil water. <clears throat> I think I got like a quarter way through the game and I just was not having fun with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like that this is cheaper, so we'll do that. Like by Unknown Force. I think that's it for now. I think we have to go back and fight that thing. Fists only build. I value my sanity, I'm sorry. It was all just a bad dream, he. Oh, way easier to kill with that. Start, then up, equip consumables, and then triangles use consumable. Cool. Man. <laughs> I was stuck running there for some reason, but I seem to have fixed it, so... No, we didn't want to do that. I already wasted one. Yikes. Yikes. I like this. 
Thank you very much, Dante. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a great story week. We finished Metro and we started playing this because I was, like I mentioned before, I, I was following, uh... I know they're good guys, but man, they kind of creep me out still. I've been following the development of this game for the year and it, it's so cool to just see it drop and everybody is having a ball with it. You have to equip keys. Oh man, this really is old school. Sheesh. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep the quick item on the key for now. Oh, what we got? Nice. That'll make up for me wasting one at least. No, I'm not. Weekend shift room my day. Had to clean up all the mess they made. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Glad you could join us, though. Always a pleasure. You're all breathtaking. What we got over here? Nothing for now. And I cannot slide down, I just tried. Man, I have to get used to playing this again. I haven't played a Souls game in a hot minute. What did we get here? Oh, uh, it's just you. Two hours, two hours of my life. But yeah, now I'm here. Good shit. It, you made it for this game. This game is really sick. I mean, Metro is cool, but this game's pretty tight too. What do we got in here? If it's optional, it means I'm probably gonna die. Or not. That was looking pretty sketchy there. This is Dark Souls stuff we're talking after all. <clears throat> Do we have any information on this? Probably not. Cool. This is so sick. It even does, it even does like the textures, how they jiggle a bit. You know what I mean? Like in Tomb Raider and stuff back then. Oh man, this is, this is tight. How do you check data though? my question that's not it there's gotta be some way to check what they do right or are they just more simple than this maybe not doesn't appear to be button I'm turning all the buttons well, all I know is, is that the rumpled hat gives us more health, so we're going to stick with that for now. It's a nice hat anyway. Ah. 
Fire arms use quicksilver bullets. Well, I just got more of them, so that's good at least. Of course it's locked. <coughs> Anything here? The tips over here, my lady. Another nice little transition. This is where the fun begins. It's too quiet. Nice. Locked by device, not nice. Is this a device? Oh my god, they nearly squished me. Molotov cocktail, now we're talking. <laughs> this feels really good. I can't believe like one or two people made this. I'm... Oh, that sounds great. Oh, checkpoint. <laughs> Checking memory card. Let's see if we can cash in. <laughs> PSX engine's amazing. Honestly. Locked by an unknown force. We have to probably beat the first boss for that. <laughs> I don't want to spend money on uh, items. I want to save that for leveling right now. I was just wondering if I could level up or not. Oh, waifu. See, I'm not familiar. I haven't played this game much. So, when I did play it, I'm talking when I was still in high school I played this game uh I don't recall much from it that sounds horrifying I think it's someone crying and it doesn't really make it better Knowing that. <laughs> I'm waiting to get Dark Souls cornered. It's gonna happen. Oh. Oh, that's right, the window. You must be a hunter. And... Not one from around Discord's around down here. again? I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. Damn. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to. 
but I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. Don't know how you did that, but thank you. If it's blood you're interested in, you should try the healing church. It just contains all knowledge on blood administration, all varieties of blood. Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the healing church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep in the Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral. The birthplace of the healing church is Spethel Blood, or so they say. Yarnumites don't share much with outsiders. Normally they wouldn't let you near the place, but the hunt is on tonight. This might be your chance. Uh, just repeating it. Yep, yeah, okay. Dark Souls rules. Keep talking, don't they repeat this last dialogue? You die here or live long enough to become a horrible VoIP service. Yep. Now we're gonna wait for the next big Discord to come around and repeat the process. The cycle, so to speak. It's sad, but it's true, dude. Not, not a hot take at all. But it's very true. And I hate it. Udfrost now! Oh, I'm just gonna smack you. You don't even have the poise that's worth the caution, honestly. I wonder if FromSoft is gonna like go on Nintendo on this game or not. That's the big question now, isn't it? I would hope not. Yeah, that seems like too big of a jump for me. Let's not do that. Camera. I'm too powerful. You cannot block me. My chip damage is through the roof. Alright, what else we got here? Alright, alright. Locked again. Ooh. Okay, the camera interaction is definitely rough for moments like that, man. I have to figure out how to aim the gun. Okay, so aiming the gun is how- Oh, but when you release it, it shoots. There's gotta be something. That's just rough. Looking down, you know what I mean? Trying to see down the ledges there. I don't wanna waste a bullet to do that. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a red spirit for sure. Not like a player, but you know the NPC ones you could run and do in Dark Souls. Definitely worth popping. 
Hey, what? Can't just do that. Alright, I'll be honorable. I won't heal that time, so you don't heal. The janky PlayStation 1 Dark Souls combat. Ooh, that's a lot of souls. Did they drop anything though? Nope. Sweaty clothes, wonderful. That's definitely what I wanted. But, seems better, so... We'll do it. Oh no, it's server so bad that I actually clicked the server link and when I hit cancel, the request times out. When I hit cancel, the request times out, so I'm stuck on the you've been invited to the server screen. Yikes. That's... That's no good. Jeez. Locked again. Help me! Oh God! Nice. Our locked door. Not nice. It's all your fault. Is it? Yeah, the camera jankness is definitely intentional, I feel. <laughs> Creates more panic situations. I like that. I mean, I like it, I don't. But the nostalgia is so real. Hmm. This looks like a loop back around area for later because there's a layer that probably drops. Yep. Let's go back to that previous staircase first. Haha, <laughs> looks familiar, huh? Yeah, I'm not gonna screw with that this time. Alright. That explains that. Why did I hit that button? Ah, oh, God, that was so stupid of me. I don't know why I keep thinking triangles attack for some reason. It's the fact alone that I'm thinking it's driving me nuts. I have to get used to this control scheme for sure. But like the shoulder buttons have always been attacks in these games, so that shouldn't be some muscle memory thing for me. It's just me being stupid. Yeah. Of course it doesn't. That looks nice. Can't get it right now, unfortunately. Got 
God, the making a Souls like is such a good call because they have that atmosphere that fits a PlayStation One game with how quiet they are, so well. I don't think there's assassination animations though, unless I'm doing it wrong. I think it was, might might have been different in this game. Sounds like someone's trying to sell me something around the corner. I don't even know what that is. Hearing. It's on the first floor clank key I have, so. Okie dokie then. They should demake Uncharted in PS1 style so it goes for full circle and plays like old Tomb Raider. That'd be great actually, just for the gag. Is there a running jump? No. It's not a running attack either. I got really lucky in the hitboxes there. Is there anything even worth going down here for? No, wonderful. Your souls aren't even that much. Alright, we'll get to the next checkpoint, probably call it. Look around and find out. And I got most of it back. Good shit. These crows are really creepy. Trying to get me again, huh? I don't remember them sounding like that. <laughs> Holy crap, that's so cursed sounding. I get that's the point. I just can't help it. Wow. Okay, be careful here. is the soul is like after all <clears throat> right actually always check your corners Ooh, what's this they sound like me when I go ape shit you just go like that primal I don't know Gord that that is very feral <laughs> my god I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, nice. Two for one special. That's a lot. This is a damn Meek mode activate. Did I go in a circle? No, it's not you. It's all your fault! 
God damn, I did. How did I come back here? Oh, the gate, right. The one way gate. I'll have to get back to where I was. Oh my god. Fucking with that. I should've just did that from the start instead of trying to be fancy. Just to spend money you shouldn't have. What do you mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. I remember why I didn't like this game actually. Even high def graphics, it felt like a fucking maze. <clears throat> yeah, that's the same exit point. I really like how crunchy this sounds. Me too. It's pretty sick. For sure. Hello. Let's try amigo. Haven't been in this hallway yet, I don't think. Cause I was not expecting that almost. The one corner I don't search, I almost get s fucking slapped. Locked. It's all locked. These guys, I can just break through them. Nice. Ooh, okay. We got our insight. Let's get the hell out back to the dream. That's what that icon meant on the doors. All right, all right. I spent my dosh on cards. Oh, make sure, you know, as long as you make sure you're financially good. Sorry to spend a little bit on them. Oh, cards, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! MTG, what you got? Probably Pokemon, I'm guessing, since you mentioned Austin. You tell me you downloaded a demake of a game you already didn't like? Yes, the difference is, this is free. It was originally $60. And this was back when I just got my PlayStation 4, so I didn't have many games on it. So, yeah. I was not having a good time with it. I felt like I could get better for my $60 back then, you know what I mean? Holy shit. Well, thank you so much for the five gift subs, Dante. Goddamn. Mega generous. We're about to get very yo -y in here. Yo. <laughs> Never get sick of that. I don't think there's a jumping attack, so we're just gonna hold that. Is that another? 
God damn. Digimon cards. I was not expecting that. All right. Very cultured. Did you just mention you spent money you shouldn't have? Yeah, honestly though, like as long as make make sure you're good first. As much as I appreciate the generosity, I'll well, make sure you're totally fine first because uh yeah, that's always top priority. I want to see you be happy. The generosity is great, but. That should have sounded like a Resident Evil zombie yell from like five, did it not? This is the one he should have spent on. Well, as long as you're good. Once again, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, let's fucking go. Let's throw down. Gotta get back to the hunter's dream. Up the staircase. Let's rock. Definitely glad I went cleaver. It's way more unga bunga than the cane. That's another thing. I, I started cane when I played this game back then, and I definitely did not enjoy that weapon nearly as much. Yeah, Kane was not a fun time. Okay, there's assassinations. That's right. This game does do it different. You have to stagger them with the heavy attack first. Yeah, Bloodborne did a lot of weird things I didn't like gameplay-wise that were changed from Souls, so... That's no reason I wasn't big on it. It's just a personal preference thing. Oh, hello. Am I really not? Nice. Is this person going to say something different? Oh, uh, yeah, it's, he's just repeating the same stuff. Trying to hunt your stream. In my, my last box, did you my cards? Pull the $70 card pack. I didn't realize they made that much money still. Oh, hello. Hello, good hunter. You're alive. I am a doll. Here in this dream to look after you, honorable hunter. Pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. Excellent. Well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Ooh, that ain't cheap. Alright, uh... Oh, the cost is... My bad, I forgot to put these down. Okay. Do one strength, one endurance. And our strength. Alright, we'll level up vitality next time. Nice. That's what we want to spend the points on. Nice. Okay. It's a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He's obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here in this dream. Such is his purpose. Okay, same dialogue. Where may you find your worth in the waking world? Open the door with the insight we got. Aha! You must be the new hunter. 
Welcome to the Hunter's Dream. This will be your home. For now, I am... Oh. Gehrman. Friend to you, Hunters. You're sure to be in a fine haze about now, but don't think too hard about all of this. Just go out and kill a few beasts. It's for your own good, you know. It's just what hunters do. You'll get used to it. This is once a safe haven for hunters. Workshop where hunters use blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but you're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the doll, could it please you. Yikes. Wasn't expecting that line. Waifu cards make money. Oh. Yeah, I guess Digimon does have some. Huh. I didn't think about it that way. Making bank, Dante. Stocks going up. <laughs> Shit's exploding in, in chat and on Twitter. Okay. That's expended. Take that in a second. <clears throat> that just goes outside, right? Yeah. The side door should ever want to use it. Great cleaver. Press L1 to transform your right weapon. Oh, you can't just do it in. <laughs> This is probably better for single enemies versus a uh, crowd since it doesn't cleave as much. More vertical, you know? Yeah, fuck, we'll upgrade this. Hope some requirement not met. Oh, I need one more. Okay. Alrighty. Stonks from wife who truly have I fallen. No, that's how you make. That's. You're on the better end of it compared to people that pay money for it. You know what I mean? You're on the right end. Well, what is it? Very well. Let that let now shut. No, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Awkward. All right, we're gonna save one last time before we stop for now. Most people use your cards to play games instead of trading as an art form of stock trading. I mean, here's the thing, Gord. It's always been that way. I'm sure, I mean, that's not a secret, you know? It, people have always used it as that. It's just taken, and it's unfortunately become more of a stock trading recently because of the pandemic and, you know, scalpers being scalpers with everything they can think of from toilet paper to children's trading card games. But, yeah, man, I mean, you've always been able to make money off of, like, waifu cards and shit like that. That's something new. Maybe a little bit more now, maybe, depending. Like, I, I'm still surprised Dante's able to make that much off of Digimon cards, because... I, I guess globally they can make more money, but... It just never seemed like something that took off in the West here, you know what I mean? Alright. Before we stop, we're gonna try something. What the hell? Yeah, we gotta see if we can screw with the Hope World NPCs.
Yep, you can. God damn, you can still do that. <laughs> he just Niles vanishes out. Alright. Well, that was hella fun. I can't wait to play more of this next week. Oh yeah, no. Definitely make fun of people that are actually just buying out every single pack. There's no need for the selling duplicates and cards you don't want. Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. Let, let me be clear. If you're going to a store and you buy them out of packs completely to the point where they need to restrict them so the targeted audience can actually play them or, and buy them, that's that's so no bueno. It's not even funny. So, yeah. But, let's see. I've had interest in Digimon TCG, but I'm just going to hold off until they make a digital version of it. That's the thing. I don't know when the heck that's going to be, because as far as the gaming front right now, they're not... <laughs> they're not doing too great. Um, They have, like, an MMO that's on Steam, and that's just been kind of existing. I'm surprised it's still existing, to be honest with you. And um, the most recent games were Cyber Sleuth. And those are pretty good, actually. I'm told. I never got around to playing them. But besides that, it's been pretty quiet for a long time. They were supposed to release a game called uh, Survive. And it's been fucking... It's been in some kind of limbo for over two years now, if not three. So I... Mm, the fact that you don't even have like much of a game presence just with the franchise in general, let alone trading card, I, I don't know. I wouldn't hold my breath on that one. But fans might make a digital version of it. I mean, hell, that's how it was with Yu-Gi-Oh. Cyber Sleuth caused a revival? That's cool. I'm glad it had such a positive effect on the series. It, it seemed to make people like it more in general. Like, if you look at the reviews of it on Steam, everybody was praising the hell out of it when Sword and Shield came out. Because, okay, I haven't played Sword and Shield, and I don't really care. I'm not going to get in the hate train for it, but there was quite a hate train when it came out. Everybody was just basically saying, buy this and play Digimon instead of Pokemon. And it's like, I never thought, I never thought I'd see this timeline happening. <laughs> That's pretty wild. Digital is good for playing against friends and losing against Omnio. <laughs> he is a menace. He's, he is a Resident Evil, Resident Evil. God, I'm tired. And I got horror, PS1 horror on the brain. He is a Resident uh, card expert for sure. At least with Yu-Gi-Oh. I have no idea how much he knows other games. Because all I've ever known him for was Yu-Gi-Oh. He knows his shit. If you need... If you have a problem with your deck, if there's something wrong with it, or you feel like it's weak under an avenue, and it can use tweaking to round it out better, he will know the card within two minutes. Go to bed. Shut up. <laughs> That being said, I could use a break and stop now, so thanks for joining everyone. It was fun. Hope you all enjoyed both of the games. I really can't wait to play more of that Bloodborne. It's it's a pretty fucking cool game for absolutely free. But that was Scream Every Night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard. Tune in tomorrow. Ray will be back with more uh I keep forgetting the name of the damn game. It's Dungeon something. What was it Deepest? No. There's a Darkest Dungeon. I don't think there's a Deepest Dungeon. Yeah, no. Yeah, whatever. He switched games. Dungeon Siege, thank you. But he switched games. So, I don't know what the hell he's playing. And then Pop will be back Wednesday with... I lost track of everybody's games. Everybody's fucking switching up. I gotta look. Goddamn. We have Samurai 4. Yes. And he's playing his ass. And Ray's playing his ass. Right. Thank you.
Thank you. Pals playing Way of the Samurai 4. I've never even heard that in my life. So, I can't even speak on that one. And then Austin will be back again Thursday, yeah. With more Fallout 3, I assume. Unless he finished it. But I know he came back to so. No rage doing Way of the Samurai. Oh, he switched again. So it was Dungeon Seizure 4, then it was Disaster, which I guess he finished. And now he's doing Way of the Samurai. And Pop's doing Not for Broadcast. That must be one of those really obscure 90s FMV games, because I've never heard of that either. Which is cool. That'll make it pretty interesting, I think. But what I want to know is where's the caveman? But yeah, thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Thank you again for the gift subs, Dante. Awesome generosity. Hope you mad bank off the Digimon cards. <laughs> Bedtime. Have a good night, everyone, and go to bed.